What's up everyone, Bezils here. Many of you are asking me in the comments, how can I use downloaded VSTs like uh, pigments or any synthesizers or also like effect plugins like uh, Guitar Rig 7 or Amplitube inside GarageBand. So that's what we're going to be covering today. It's not going to take too much time because I think it's super simple and super quick. So let me show you. Okay, so once we are in GarageBand, we can decide if we want to create the music while playing software instrument or record it audio like microphone or guitar bass. So let's start with the software instrument first. Let's just double click on that. And here we are. We have the classic electric piano. If you have your MIDI keyboard plugged in, you can play and, and hear what you're playing. So it's super simple. Then you can choose different, uh, different instruments. Okay, but what happens if you want to actually use your own synth? So we go here to the plugins in the bottom section. We open this. We see that's the electric piano plugin and we have some effects like compressor, flanger, overdrive, tape lay. We don't need any of them, so let's just delete them. Let's go to no plugin. Let's delete all of them. And then instead of ePiano, we're going to choose our own VST. Like let's say it's going to be Analog Lab 5 because it has plenty of different sounds and presets. Okay, so let's kick these uh, double arrows here and let's find AU Instruments. You can probably see the Analog Lab 5 here, but let's pretend it's not here. So we're going to go to AU Instruments, which stands for Audio Units. I'm going to find our brand, so Arturia. And we have all the plugins here, Analog Lab 4, uh, 5, and Augmented Strings, whatever. Let's try the Analog Lab 5, Stereo. And let's load this. And it's going to take a second. And uh, there we go. We can play it. But in order to get to the settings, we just click on that little uh, two faders. And we open the settings and the whole interface of the Analog Lab 5. And we can just basically go and find like a cool bass sound. Or just go here to the browser and just see whatever we like the most. Okay, so this is the software synthesizer or any other sound making plugin. But what about a guitar? If you're playing a guitar and you want to use your own plugin like Guitar Rig 7 or Tonely GFX or Amplitude, whatever that may be, the thing is also super simple. Just press plus here. We're going to add another track and another track will be guitar. So we kind of need to know what input our guitar is plugged into in your interface. In my case, I have a Focusrite Scarlett Solo. Uh, the input is number two. So, okay, let's create. Okay, now let me plug in the guitar first. Okay, now I want to be able to hear my guitar. So let's press this little button here. Okay, we can hear the guitar. We have a tuner here if you want to tune your guitar first, which is usually a good idea. There we go. So we have a similar situation. We go to the plugins here, which might be open already. If not, just open that. And we have all the effects here. So noise gate, pedal board, um, designer. We don't need to do anything. We can just turn them off like that. But you can also delete them. No plugin. And we'll just do very similar thing. We just click on these two arrows here. And we're going to find our audio units here on the very bottom. And here are the brands of the plugins that I have. And let's find something from Native Instruments, Guitar Rig 7 Effects. It's going to take a short while, but once it loads, we just press these two faders here. And we see our lovely interface, which is super huge. But uh, yeah, there we go. Let's find a nice preset. Input sources, guitar. And let's try this one. <laughs> Try a different one. Everything working perfect. That's great. Different plugin. Okay, let's delete that. And let's find audio units again. Tone lip, tone lip G effects. And let's open the settings. This one. Cool, everything working perfect. Now if you want to know something more about this plugin that I just launched on the screen, which is called Tone Leap GFX, just watch this video next.
it's a super cool plugin anyway yeah that's it from me for today thanks so much for watching and see you guys next video cheers